Hey guys, welcome back to another live game commentary. Today we're playing some Graves Jungle. This patch, Graves is pretty bloody good. He got buffed, he's looking pretty strong, and people are playing him some more. I think he's a pretty good jungler. So we're going to show you how to play him today. Have some fun in some League of Legends. Fun? League of Legends? What's up with that? No, we are going to try and have some fun in League of Legends. But more importantly, this is how you play Graves. Or I should say, if you watch this video... Oh, I don't like that. We're getting split screen as well. If you watch this video, and then if you if you want to play Graves and you watch this video, you should be able to get at least a good start into it. Hey there, my name is Swatch Shop. You might recognize me from videos such as this one and, and others like it. I've got some things to tell you. I won't be long, I promise, and then we can get back to the video, okay? Really, really quickly. First thing, I'm casting the EU Masters again this weekend, 28th and 20. 9th of April, the Saturday and the Sunday starts at 6 p.m. Central European Summer Time. Twitch.tv slash Riot Games. Go through to my Twitch as well at Foxshop Law if you want updates about it, whatever. Tune in, watch, support me from home, whatever you want to do. It's awesome. I'm casting a Riot event. It's going to be so fun. You'll also see me in a suit, so that will be, you know, that that's something as well. Second thing, there is a giveaway going on. Millions, billions of dollars in RP is being given away. It's not millions or billions, but it's a decent amount of RP. RP and it's free to enter. Check the description. Enter that shit. Do it. What you're waiting for. Third thing. Can't remember what the third thing is. So fourth thing. If you're worried about something, if you've got self-doubt about something, if you're sitting there procrastinating because you need to do something and you're just not really feeling it, you're worrying, you're doubting, you can do it. You can do it. Simple as that. You can do it. I believe in you, you don't believe in you, but it's all Gucci because you can do it, alright? Now I'm going to bugger off here, guys. I promise I wouldn't be long and I'm already being too long. Oh, Sh Shad is so cute. I'm out of here. Enjoy the video. I'm not going to be the best Graves player in the world, but I used to play him, play him a little while ago and I paid him a lot. So I know, I know decently how he works and stuff, so it's okay, alright? You should learn how to play Graves from this video, but I'm not an expert, so this would be your intro or potentially a bit of intermediate stuff, because I'll teach you some general jungling tips too, and then you can go and do your own thing once you're a bit in there. So, first things first, if you start with Q, you're a bad, bad boy, naughty, naughty. Start with E on Graves, because then you go pam, bam, bam. And you want to get that extra shot in there with your E and also start stacking your passive here, True Grit, which gives you extra uh, resistances, which is beautiful stuff. We all want extra resistances, right? Extra armor, that's good shit. Now your path and graves is... I'll show you my runes in a little bit, right guys, but this first path is kind of important. So your, your jungle clear on graves is sort of like, okay... What do we want to do here? Do we want to go for that level 3 gank? Do we want to go for the full clear? I would say, if in doubt, on Graves, just go for the clear. I think he's a better farmer than a ganker. So I'm going to go for the chicken clear here. I'm going to do a bit of a full clear, actually, like a genuine full clear. And now as well, you see, this is my true grit. I'm on 3, I'm going down. Oops, nope, now I can dash, and I'm up to 4. And then if I aggro this camp here, fuck, I dropped it. Never mind. If I had my W, I wouldn't have dropped it there. But that's fine. The thought was there, and it's the thought that counts. Alright. Now, also, I do want to say too, guys. This game, my TF was a little bit of a... Little bit of a naughty boy. Oh, fuck me, you took my blue. Little bit of a naughty boy in, uh, in, in, in the lobby, in champ select. It was a little bit rude, you know? So... Uh, this game as well, we're just gonna kill this guy with kindness. If you see, if you think I'm being cringy or overly nice, it's because that's just how you deal with dickheads. Some, well, it's a good way to deal with dickheads, I should say. So I'm gonna go into the river, take away the scuttle crab, and I'm also going to uh, maybe look for a mid gank, maybe look for a top gank or something like that. I'm gonna go mid here, actually. Alright, well, the red red card isn't my favourite card to see, honestly. But that's fine. It works. We're a team. Uh, this guy has spell books, but he did use Ignite, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe that was TF's Ignite. If he didn't use his Ignite, then this is per- If he did use it, sorry, this is perfect, because then he won't be able to spellbook into TP. If he spellbooks into TP, this won't be great, but either way, that's good. Good stuff. Good job, smiley face. Oh, so he did use Ignite. Perfect. 
Let me go top here. My red buff's gone, but I might still be able to do something. He might actually come and ward this, so I'm just going to run straight up here. Then I'll show you my runes after this play, lads. Okay. We'll just do some right. You know what? This is this is fair enough. This is fair enough. Like I don't want to. If 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 Reddy wants to farm here, she had a lot of minions under a tower. It's okay. That's cool. Right. So guys, let me show you my runes. This is what we're running today. Fleet footwork is our is our keystone. You can you can go for um electrocute if you want to, but fleet footwork's a decent choice. So fleet footwork. That's what I've gone with today. Uh, then just standard precision stuff after that with triumph, alacrity, and cut down, which makes it better for me running into tanks or people with a lot of health. And then secondary is celerity and the gathering storm. This is a page that I took from uh, Tinks. You might not know who he is. If you're watching the EU, EU Masters, you'll probably know who he is. Um, but he is the jungler for Gamers Origin, which is one of the best non-LCS teams in Europe. Uh, and he's an absolute beast on Graves. Like, he's so, so good on Graves. Like, he plays versus challenges and makes it look like he's smurfing. He's so good, so... I just stole the page from him. Uh, if you don't like this page, take it out with him, not me, because... <laughs> yeah, I'm... It's not my page. <laughs> I've just full-on nicked it from that geezer. So one of the cool things about Graves is he's really good in 1v1s. Oh, I need to get out of this one somehow. I'm not getting out of this one. I'm dead. Fuck. No, I didn't hit the wall. Not that it makes any difference at all. Okay, I got collapsed on there by three people. So, what I was going to say here is... We'll write that one off as a, as a warm-up play. <laughs> but, so Grace is good in these 1v1s, which means... If you have lanes in good positions, you should look to invade the enemy jungle. So we have control in this mid lane, right? Because TF is is pushing out like that. He can join a play because of his ultimate. So so that so we got control in mid lane, right? So that's good. If I if I make a play, if I run into Kane, firstly I can kill Kane by myself. But if something happens, then TF will be able to join first. Um, so then I have to look at the side lanes and see, okay, what can I do around there? Because you know that my death right there. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend like it was a good good intention. <laughs> Intended there because that shows you what what happens when you don't have a bot lane priority. No bot lane priority means you get collapsed on by the enemy bot lane. You've got to be careful. Now I want to see where Kane is because he could still be around here. He was level six as well, so I have to respect him. So we're going to pull this one further away. Okay, that did no damage. All Gucci. All Gucci. Let me take my top side here as well. And I will be fine. So yeah, basically. You saw me die. That's because my bot lane was in spawn. And it's not their fault, it's my fault. Make sure you're using your ears and auto attack reset as well on Graves, basically. So does your sister at night. Why is everyone on my team so mean? My, uh, the Ziggs on my team as well was kind of flamey in champ select. TF was flamey in champ select. And you, can't, you can see him here as well. He's still being a bit of a dickhead, actually. It's like everyone's so horrible to each other. Now, now Aurelia's really whipping it out, too. All right. Now, the, the thing is, ganking a mid lane, ganking a TF is, is a, generally speaking, a good idea because he's got good setup with his... Goal card, uh, but ganking a Vlad is kind of hard. Because he can pull away, he's just a bit scary in general. But I do want to hang around here, because if Kane shows, he's going to need my help. TS is going to need my help. But let me, let me try and take my chickens first, and then I'll come mid if, I, if I'm needed. But... Please let me take these first without dying, TF, okay? I need these first. Right, now I'm on my way. Now you can try and, uh... Now you can die if you want to. 
I mean, if I'm Kane, I'm looking at this mid lane thinking, let's go. I mean, TF is always always a pretty easy lane to gank because he's got no escape. Well, that is awkward. Oh, I fucked this up big time. Oh, fuck me. God damn it. I can't fight Kane when he has War Enchant and then Blitzcrank as well. Two people? Not good. Although, if Blitzcrank dies here, I'm going to say, yeah, this is a uh, nice setup, Foxy. Nice setup. All me, baby. Same TF couldn't ult bot there. Good, good gank time from Malphite. Alright, this is interesting. This could be... Oh, Kane's gonna be there, mate. You gotta respect that. Okay. Is he actually alive? <laughs> Alright. Fair enough. So I guess we're gonna get mid tower here. We're gonna try and get mid tower. Okay. Can we come for this? Does she not want mid tower? She wants top. Alright. Well, I'll get some damage on mid tower then. How's that sound? Wait, what? Ooh, he's pretty low. I see you, Broski. I see you. He has Malphite. Yeah, I see it. Don't worry, mate. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, Sonny Jim. Alright, this isn't a good start, lads. We're not, we're not having the start we wanted. But it's okay. Because we can just farm up a little bit here. Get my Warren chart. I've got my Warren chart now, so I'm pretty strong. And then I can go for my Black Cleaver. Jesus, lads. Calm over. Hmm. Is this a good idea? I don't know where Kane is, so I'm a bit skeptical of this one. It's okay. It's still good. We half health him. Here comes Aurelia. Nice. Good shit. Beautiful stuff. I'm going to go for the Herald. This should be free for me. Aurelia can go for maybe the mid tower or something. Good TP. We went a bit too deep there, honestly. Especially since Malfa had Flash and Ulti. He caught us pretty hard right there. This chef talks a lot. It's really interesting. I think this is the kind of guy I don't understand. This guy is obviously quite try hard, hence the reason he is putting loads of strategy into the into the chat. <laughs> but if he really he seems to care a lot about winning to that degree. But if he really cared about winning, why is he be, he's he's such a dick? <laughs> like he's a legit a knob. Why are you such a knob? Like, he, he tilts his teammate. He's, he's been tilting people since champ select on purpose. <laughs> like, which one is it? Are you, tri are you a tryhard or are you, are you a dickhead? Okay, I'm gonna go top here, I guess. I've got the Herald. And for some reason... We're gonna we're we gonna three man this shit or what? Okay, this is this is watered. Yeah, ready to go bot here. Don't want to be topside. You don't want to be topside right here, matey. I want to be topside, but she doesn't. But I want to get my red buff first. I should have just gone top here, honestly. I've got a herald. Like if I just if I just put the herald down, this would have been so good for us. I guess I need to wait for Ziggs. Is that Malphite? Oh. 
not my fault, bro. Not my fault. <laughs> or is it? Dun dun dun. See a relic coming in. Yeah, I didn't have the best map awareness on that one. I don't really think my de his death is my fault, but we will we will say all right. Sorry, mate. Poor awareness on that one. But we got two deaths now, so how do we use this herald? That's the question. So I don't really want to use it bot lane if Vlad and Kane are both here. Ah oh, shit! Now we really want to run. You know what? Fine. Okay, that was a bad <laughs> that was a bad flash, lads. All right, now I can use. Can I use the herald here? God damn it! I want to put the herald down. We keep getting two kills, but I can't put it down. I'm gonna put the herald mid. God, I'm so slow. All right, finally we get a herald. I don't think I can stay here though. I don't even think I need to use that. I don't even think we need the Herald here, really, do we? Well, I'm healing up decently from the jungle, so I guess I can join my team soon. But we really shouldn't be in the mid lane here. I'm actually, I'm sitting on way too much gold. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm sitting on 3k gold, lads. That's not good. I should spend that. I need to recall. This is this is this is a graves trap, by the way. This is a classic graves classic graves trap, where because you don't have to recall, you don't recall. But then by not recalling, you end up in a situation like I'm in, where you're on, you've got four thousand gold. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Steady on, fellas. Steady on. All right. Let me spend some of this gold, lads. Let me spend some of this gold. What are we going to buy? We're going to buy our Black Cleaver. That's not Black Cleaver. Black Cleaver doesn't be that other anymore. There we go. And then I'm going to go for my tier 2 boots. That's what I'm going to build into next. Obviously can't afford it just yet. But I will be getting it as soon as I can afford it. Does Malphite have ult? That's the question. Yes, he does. Let's see. Whose fault is this one going to be, boys? I'm gonna. I, I'd say it's probably gonna be my fault, just because he got ganked by the jungler. We'll see. Do something. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is that? I guess he hasn't really put. He's kind of blaming everyone there. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. That's everyone's fault, I guess. And uh, but in in all seriousness, you've got a. You can't really do that if if. I mean, if your team's not in position to do something, I mean, I'm I'm in spawn, right? We know I'm in spawn, so. We're not going to be able to match the pressure because we're... I'm not there. Why is Ziggs pinging me? What's going on? Alright, take a look at my farm, guys. It's... Well, I don't want to say it's high. It's high in comparison to everyone else on the team. But it's not a high... It's not high farm, it's everyone's farm is low. Why is this Ez's name Granny Gay Porn? Oof. Yo, if he'd got that ult off earlier, that really almost destroyed him. So where are we going, boys? What's the plan? 
That's a blitzcrank. That's unfortunate. You're kidding. <laughs> oh my god. He just saved him with that as well? That is unlucky. Just couldn't quite get that on the wall there. Oh, I might be in a bit of a pickle here, boys. Or maybe not, because that's an Aurelia. Doing Aurelia things. Oh, boy. I did it! I got him! Oh, triumph, baby! Let's go! Thumbs up. That's a cupcake. Oh, yeah, boys. Whew. All right, that was spooky. Good shit. Yeah, I don't know how I survived that, but fair enough. Okay, after this, guys, we're going to go for the old Phantom Dancer. Yeah, just, just, you can do it, guys. You can do it. Yeah, that's cool. Kane's not in the pit anymore. Can you get, can you get Dragon? Obviously, they don't want to, oh, nice, he's dead. Good shit, lads. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. I don't think we can do Baron off that. Oof. That Malphite is not something I ever really want to fight this game. I mean, he's just going to be stacking armor, and armor is... Yeah, I mean, I've got a Cleaver, which is nice, but... He's just so tanky. I, don't, I won't really ever be able to do too much to that guy, but that's okay. The rest of the team is pretty decent for me to go for. You want to go for this one, TF mate? We can do that. I've got a Vlad bot and he has no TP. So if we pressure around this area, we might be able to force something. I don't think we can start the Baron, but... We'll just de-ward around this area and then... If they're blind about it, then we can maybe force them to face check us or do something stupid. We don't really have the good engage that we want though. It, like, this kind of fight, it's difficult for us to, to get it going because who who will engage, you know? Like, compared to like the Malphite on their team, we don't have anyone who will be able to do what Malphite would do. Which makes it hard. Uh, that's a good shout though, we do need a pink ward for it. Where did my pink ward go? Did I just not buy one? I could have sworn I had a pink ward. <laughs> Guess not. Uh, this is the boring part of the game now, where you're you're just kind of playing Aram a little bit, you don't have much jungle. If you, if you walk into their jungle, you're bloody just gonna die. You kind of have to stay grouped because... There's a good chance if you don't, your team will do something and die as well. Oh no, we see Malphite's going topside here. I wonder if we can flank here. Holy shit, why is that guy's healing so nussy? Woo! Did you guys see that flash? Did you see that shit? Can we do Baron here? We should do Baron. Bloody hell. Yeah, we can. We can do this.
Actually, you know what? We can't do this. I was totally wrong. Death time is just so much shorter than I thought. You you guys are apes. We have no high DPS. We have the DPS. I just... They're, uh... Death time is one as long as I thought. Oh, shut up. We'll be fine. I'm getting a bit. Sorry, I'm getting a bit irritated at him. Can you tell? <laughs> he's he's kind of annoying me. <laughs> but uh, no, nah, we it's okay. I mean, you just try not to talk too hard from these guys, and it's all all good. But it is it is a little bit irritating just someone whinging and whining their way through a game. It's like, come on, mate. It's like it's no fun to be like that, you know. It's like even in even in real life, just people who have those kind of attitudes. It's like. Isn't it just so tiring and boring to just be like that, you know? To just be complaining about stuff and to have a bad mood all the time and just be negative about things. It's like, you can do that if you want, but it's tiring, man. Just chill out. Oh, that's good. That is good shit. Well, downside to that is I smited him. Which is actually pretty bad, <laughs> given the context here. On the plus side, they don't have a jungler here, so that's actually kind of good for us. Much well, really good for us, in fact. Oh my god, I suck. I'm totally gonna jump over this wall from here. I'm inting. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I did that. I don't, I don't. I don't know why I did that, and I don't know why I'm alive either. But either way, I did it, and I'm alive. Hmm. I kind of want to go for Baron, uh, the dragon here, but I guess we actually need help to kill this guy, so... I can do that too. I think they're on it. Nice. Well, that's, pa that's basically the nail in the coffin right there. They're, uh... That's that. That's going to be the game for them, I think. Is uh, like these are the kind of desperation plays they're doing because they're behind, but they're not. It's just they're, none of the plays are working for them. I'm just going to push mid with the Baron Wave here. We've got Ziggs too. If my team plays with them around the bot side, this is fine. Uh, Ez can be here at this point. Maybe Malphite, but this is this is good for us. Nope. Just only Ez will be here if he is here. Alright, nice. That's gonna be game. If you're wondering about my item build, by the way, next time I would be, I would be going for Death's Dance. And then after that, I don't know, like... I'm not 100% sure whether you'd go like Armor Pen or maybe even an IE at this point. If the game goes really long, just get rid of your Warrior Enchant and go like... Rapid Fire Cannon or something. And get make sure you have an IE in your build too. Just play like an actual AD carry. Alright, good shit lads. Let's take a look at the damage chart and see how we did. It wasn't the best early game, which is kind of funny because I feel like Graves is an early game champion. So I probably should have been the opposite of that game where I had a good kind of mid to late game, but I had a terrible early game when I should probably have a better early game than anything else. But uh, I am i don't think I'm going to honor TF. You know what? I think <laughs> I think he gets, uh, I think we'll, we'll avoid that one. Uh, it really was a bit of a knob as well. You know what? Karma was the only person who, who wasn't a bit of a dick, honestly. Although I think Z Ziggs was quite in-game, but he was still a dick in the lobby. A+. plus. Aye, not bad. Yo, we, that was a good good team effort, lads. Good team effort. 
Okay, guys, that's going to be it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye from me. Goodbye from Shadwell. Do not forget about the giveaway as well that I mentioned before. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in my next.